everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency in this session is formulate the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population proportion. The null hypothesis H of O states that the proportion P is equal to specific value or the hypothesized proportion P sub O. Take note of that. The alternative hypothesis H sub A is the competing claim that the population proportion P is less than, greater than, or not equal to P sub O. The table below shows the null and alternative hypothesis stated together with the types of hypothesis test. Okay, so we are familiar with this already. Two-tailed for null hypothesis. P is equal to P sub O. So alternative, we have P is not equal to P sub O. So for the right tailed, or this one is one tailed, we have P is equal to P sub O, or P is less than or equal to P sub O. And our alternative would be P is greater than P sub O. So for the left tail, we have P is equal to P sub O, or P is greater than or equal to P sub O. That is for the null. And for the alternative, we have P is less than P sub o. Example 1. It has been claimed that less than 60% of all purchases of a certain kind of computer program will call the manufacturer's hotline within one month of purchase. If 55 out of 100 software purchases selected at random call the hotline within a month of purchase, Test the claim at 0 0.05 level of significance. So, our hypothesized value of the proportion H sub O or the null hypothesis would be that one is 60% and that is P is equal to 0 0.60 or that is of course 60%. Now, less than. So, our alternative would be P is less than 0 0.60. So, we can say that, of course, using the null, the proportion of buyers, buyers who will call the hotline within a month of purchase is 60%. So for our alternative, we have the proportion of buyers who will call the hotline within a month purchase. is less than 60% or that is 0.60 and of course this one is one tail specifically this is a example left. number two a doctor claims that only 10% of all patients exposed to a certain radiation will feel ill effects if a random sample Five of 18 patients exposed to such radiation feel some ill effects, test the doctor's claim at 0 0.01 level of significance. For number two, let us determine, of course, H of O. So our hypothesized value for the population proportion is 10%. So that is... 10%. So this is equal to 10% or that is 0 0.10. So 
So, how are we going to state it? The proportion of patients exposed to a certain radiation will feel ill effects is of course 10% we have P is not equal to of course 0.10 or 10% so the proportion of patients exposed to a certain radiation will feel ill effects is not equal to 10%. And of course, we use here to take. Example number three. A certain senior high school plans to open STEM or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as an academic track only if 60% of the students in their junior high school will enroll on the following academic year. A survey conducted among a random sample of students revealed that 450 out of 1,000 students will enroll. Is the expected enrollment significantly lower than the desired, than the desired enrollment? Test at 0 0.05. So lower than the desired. So if you can see this one is 450 over 1,000, it's approximately 45% only. But the population hypothesized value of the population proportion is 60. So here we have P is equal to 60% or 0.60. Okay. So how do we state it? The proportion that the proportion of students who will enroll in STEM academic track is 60%. What about our H of A? So our H of A here is P is lower than, less than 0 0.60. So how do you state it? The proportion of students who will enroll in STEM academic track is less than because it says here lower than less than 60% and of course we will be using here one tailed left tail left tailed one tail 